Welcome to 2021 and we are looking at a lot of things happening for the Marvel side over on Disney Plus and for this one we're looking at a theory I've written recently for Bounding Into Comics and diving into the comic book history of a few characters to speculate on what could be a major plot point for a certain Disney Plus series coming up soon, Loki. I viewed the trailer for the Loki series a few times. Initially, I believed this image to be a representation of the Living Tribunal. We were introduced to the idea of that character existing within the Marvel Cinematic Universe through Doctor Strange. This is the staff of the Living Tribunal. After looking at the scene a few more times and doing a bit more research into the comics, I discovered that it's actually three semi-celestial figures introduced in the cosmic side of Marvel Comics more recently than the Living Tribunal, and they are the Time Keepers. The first appearance of a certain iteration of the Keepers was in Thor, number 243. They are introduced as Time Twisters creations of He Who Remains, the final director of the Time Variance Authority at the focal point of the multiverse intersection. They occupy the Citadel at the end of time, the final reality of the multiverse, also known as the Null Time Zone, and their purpose is to teach the next universe as sort of preservers of the timeline. In fact, they ended up destroying much of the universe in their travels, carelessly traipsing through the universe in an attempt to gain knowledge rather than to pass any wisdom to its inhabitants. It is only through the efforts of Thor and Jane Foster that the perverted creations are stopped, and only after the Asgardian informs their creator of their path of destruction through the timeline. Thor arrives at the precipice of the multiverse before the Time Twisters are conceived. He who remains then aborts his plan of creating the Twisters and makes a better version in the Time Keepers. The Time Keepers, in turn, fulfill their originally intended purpose as custodians of the Time Stream. The existence of the Keepers fluctuates throughout the comics. Sometimes they exist as observers and caretakers of the timeline. Other moments, the Time Twisters are the dominant force and wreak havoc on the timeline in their pursuit of knowledge. This haphazard existence is because of the divergent timelines created by He Who Remains. In one sense, they exist as a second option, while in another, the Twisters exist as the primary and only creation of He Who Remains. There are even times in the comics where the Twisters pose as the Keepers and manipulate key figures in the time paradoxes to alter the course of history for various timelines within the Marvel Multiverse. At some point, the Time Keepers approach Kang the Conqueror to assist in keeping tabs on a certain time period. Kang is given the 3000-4000 AD era and at that point reality diverges and he serves as an agent to the Keepers or branches off on his own to continue to be Kang the Conqueror. The Immortus title is when he takes on the responsibilities given him by the Time Keepers as he is also given immortality in this role. There's also a reality where he takes on the Iron Lad title, refusing both the Immortus and Kang futures. But the Time Keeper's importance to the timeline and their connection with Kang the Conqueror is quite thorough in the comics. What's also interesting to note is that another connection to the Time Twisters, as much as they also try to use Kang for their twisted purposes at points in the comics, is the Avengers. The Avengers are targets of these powerful creations as the beings see Earth's mightiest heroes as potential threats to their plans and the team has often proved as much in their run-ins with the Twisters. With their rich history surrounding the TVA, the Time Variance Authority, and the Time Keepers, it's debatable if this woman here, Gugu Mbatha-Ra, 
will be playing as one of their agents, or she'll act as a director of the TVA. If the former, she serves as another suit within a larger organization filled with suits. If the latter, she serves as a gender-swapped version from the comics. Because as far as the comics go, all of the executive level members of the TVA are Mr. Something, meaning they are males. That's if she's actually taking on any of these roles. I wrote about her role possibly being that of the director of the TVA, which seems like forever ago. But it was probably around this time last year I wrote it up for Bounding Into Comics. Uh, we also wrote about Owen Wilson possibly being uh, a number of roles, which scoopers were even entertaining the idea of the wedding crasher being Kang the Conqueror. In the trailer, we find he is playing the role of Mobius M. Mobius, if you have the subtitles on, one of the executive members of the TVA. So, Gugu Mabatha Raw might be someone above his station. There's still a possibility of her being the gender-swapped Mr. Alternity, which we wrote about. We'll have to wait and see. And now we go to Kang the Conqueror. As Owen Wilson's most likely not going to fulfill that role, uh, there's the possibility that Kang the Conqueror is played by Kelsey Grammer. Remember, he was he was cast in the show at some point last year, uh, and we see that shadowy cloaked figure in the trailer. Although it actually could be Sofia De Martino's character playing Enchantress or female Loki, but as the TVA is looking for rogue time travelers, the figure is most likely Kang. And how the Twisters, or the Keepers, fit into this may fall squarely within the confines of the comics. Also note that the character of Kang is confirmed in Ant-Man Quantumania, played by Jonathan Majors. What we could be looking at then is another version of Kang displaced by time and a totally divergent version based on choices made throughout history of characters before he ever enters into the picture. We could have a white Immortus in Loki, followed by a race-swapped Kang in Ant-Man Quantumania. And these differences might be reflected in who is calling the shots for the TVA, the Time Keepers or the Time Twisters. And it may take the efforts of Thor, who may show up in the series, to undo their unraveling of the time stream, as Loki looks all too happy to be part of its destruction. But what do you think of the possibilities of the Time Keepers or the Time Twisters being present in the Loki Disney Plus series? Well, let me hear about it. Sound off in the comments below or find us on social media and let's talk about it.